on today's episode of A Few Minutes of History, I'm going to be talking about the creator of James Bond, Ian Fleming, and his war service. Before he became famous as the creator of James Bond in the 1950s, Ian Fleming was an officer in the Royal Naval's Naval Intelligence Department. He devised a number of wartime schemes worthy of any Bond novel. Some were successful, and some were too wild to carry out. In May 1939, Rear Admiral John Godfrey, Director of Naval Intelligence, recruited Fleming to be Godfrey's personal assistant. Fleming's code name was 17F, and he worked in Room 39 at the Admiralty Building in London. Commissioned into the Royal Naval Volunteer Reserve in 1939 as a lieutenant, he was quickly promoted to lieutenant commander. He had no real naval experience or intelligence training, but his travels and previous experience as a journalist proved useful. Perhaps most useful was Fleming's great personal charm. Godfrey was a respected officer, but he had a reputation for being difficult and abrasive. Godfrey wisely used Fleming as a liaison with other departments, such as the Secret Intelligence Service, or MI6 today, Special Operations Executive, MI5 and Combined Operations. This gave Fleming wide access to British intelligence services. By the end of September 1939, Godfrey issued what was to be called the Trout Memo, which used fly fishing as an analogy for conducting deception operations against the Germans. While issued under Godfrey's name, many at the time and to this day see that as very much an idea of Ian Fleming. Some suggestions were a bit far-fetched, but one suggestion, to put false information on a corpse and allow it to be discovered by the Germans, was later used to great effect in the highly successful Operation Mincemeat, in which a corpse dressed as a Royal Marine officer was floating ashore to a technically neutral but fascist-friendly Spain. Godfrey was eventually removed from his position of Director of Naval Intelligence in late '42, which led to a decline in Fleming's influence in the department. He had in the meantime, however, created a commando unit called 30 Assault Unit. This unit started with a modest 30 men drawn from various branches, but with a fair amount of Navy and Royal Marine recruits. The unit was based on a German-led unit led by Otto Skorzeny that would target and seize important documents from key enemy locations. Fleming now had his own secret army, which grew into more than 100 members. From 1942 until June 44, 30 AU participated in raids and attacks on German installations to seize whatever invaluable intelligence they could find. Fleming, now promoted to full commander, was not allowed to participate in the raids, but he was deeply involved in the planning and the targeting. Fleming then helped create Target Force, or T-Force, another special unit which was tasked with obtaining records and information from enemy laboratories and headquarters. Once again, he was involved in targeting sources for this intelligence. At the end of the war, Fleming was demobilised, and he obviously went on to create an incredibly successful series of novels, which were made into an incredibly successful set of films. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please do like and subscribe and look out for more content. I want to say a big thank you to everyone on TikTok. I've now hit over 10,000 likes and nearly 2,000 followers. Also on YouTube as well, pushing the 130 mark of subscribers. Thank you everyone who is listening and subscribing, commenting. It is very, very appreciated. Tune in for the next one and I'll see you then. Cheerio, bye.